Hi everyone, my name is Rado Dragov and I represent Ambrosus and I want to talk a bit more of what we're doing and how we can revolutionize the supply chain industry. So when we, um, we uh, read all the time about the latest developments in blockchain, in uh, IoT devices, in artificial intelligence, but the truth is that most of these things are kind of between the pages of glossy magazines or tech blogs. So what our founders notice is that uh, this is especially the case in the supply chain industry and in trade, where companies haven't moved into the 21st century yet. Uh, you'll be surprised, you'll actually be shocked how big companies uh, are still doing many things in a manual, in a very analog way, which causes a great deal of inefficiency and errors. So when we founded Ambrosus, our mission became is to leverage the latest developments of IoT and blockchain and to, to digitalize, automate and make the supply chain even more efficient. So here are some of the, the overarching problem that we're trying to solve at Ambrosus is how to ensure product trust in a complex world. And there are many different problems that stem from this overarching problem. The first of all has to do with product quality. And this brings questions like, how do you know that this product you bought is of quality? Is it organic? Does it contain pesticides or horse meat? So these are kind of basic questions that we as consumers are trying to answer. Uh, the second problem has to do with traceability. This is especially pertinent for big, uh, big companies where the supply chain grows more and more complex and it's very difficult to trace products. And this is something that we as consumers can ask ourselves, where did, where did the product come from? Did it come from Boston or from Baghdad? <coughs> and the biggest uh, problem that we're actually trying to solve is counterfeit products because counterfeit products not only hurt the bottom line and the brand image of the company but also uh, cost many lives every year and the final uh, the final problem has to do with supply chain inefficiency again when companies grow big when supply chains become even more complex they um, they they have many different systems within the same company that don't communicate with each other, so data becomes, becomes fragmented across departments, and it's very hard to share that data. So we want to combine these different systems uh, so they can communicate with each other and leverage that data. So this is an overview of our solution. In a nutshell, this is an end-to-end blockchain-based solution to assure the authenticity, quality, and origin of products. So we're currently focused on um, food and pharmaceutical products, but later on, very soon, we're actually trying to expand into other industries like commodities. I would describe our company as having two pillars. So the first pillar is uh, the software backbone, the software platform that we provide. That, so that software platform can uh, store and manage supply chain data, uh, which is simple enough. Um, but we not only support blockchain, but you can store the data in your own database or decentralized databases you choose. The second pillar is the, the hardware part. This is something that distinguishes us from our direct competitors. We have a whole laboratory in Yverdon in Switzerland where we actually worked on hardware solution, IoT devices and sensors that can actually collect that data in a very trustful and secure manner. So once you have uh, data collected in a trusted and secure manner and you have a platform where you can manage it, then you can leverage that data. So we give you the opportunity because we have an open source ecosystem, is to create apps on top of our platform. So even today, you, everyone around the world can go and build apps on top of our platform and then monetize them. Um, not only people can do that, but also industries or big companies can actually create industry-specific apps. So if you're a Japanese rice wine maker, then you have a very specific uh, industry and you can easily build the apps that cater to your specific requirements. So this is kind of a, 
our motto and our, our mission in the company, we can be described with three words, it's innovation, performance and trust. Uh, innovation is because we leverage the latest developments in IoT and blockchain. Uh, performance is because ultimately our goal is to make a more efficient supply chain and automate and digitalize the whole process. And trust comes not only for, from our use of blockchain, but also of our hardware that has an extra layer of security on top of it. So trust is a very important uh, thing for us. Uh, here's a quick overview of one of the pillars of our, um, our platform. This is the software backbone, which is called Amnet. Um, as you can see, uh, this um, platform can communicate with different devices, physical devices. It can create with barcode scanners, barcode printers, um, you name it, RFID chips. It's very easy to integrate different devices into the system, but not only physical devices, our system can be integrated with uh, different types of software like SAP or legacy systems. So, uh, and moving from software to hardware. So, as I already mentioned that we have an R&D laboratory in, uh, in Switzerland. Um, we, we felt the need, as we're doing an end-to-end -end solution, to have our own devices, our own sensors. Why is that? Well, on the market there are many devices and many sensors, and actually many of them are good. But the problem is they're very general. But the bigger problem is they're not safe enough. So when, what we usually do is we take existing off-the-shelf solution and then we add an extra layer of security on top of them. We modify them so they are more secure, which is very important because if you use a blockchain, you may have the most efficient platform on the planet, but if you, if you don't trust the data that's coming in, then, then it kind of uh, invalidates the whole enterprise. So... Um, uh, as, an example, as an example, you can, um, if you use a temperature sensor, uh, you can put a block of ice next to it, and that's how you gain the system. That's how you can try to uh, cheat. And we're trying to prevent this from happening. And um, as you can see from the slide, we support sensors that can uh, that support very that can. Um, measure temperature, geolocation, light, humidity. Um, this is just general stuff, but we also provide sensors that actually can measure the quality of the product as it goes through the supply chain. Uh, this is uh, data sharing. I already mentioned that our system can easily integrate with legacy systems like SAP, and people often ask us, okay, do you want to replace these uh, big legacy systems that the companies are using? And no, answer, our answer is no, we don't want to do that. Uh, we actually want to bring them uh, the systems into the 21st century by actually connecting, uh, connecting these different systems so you have an overview of the whole data that you have across the company. Um, and with our system, it's very easy when you share data with your supply chain partners is to, um, to decide which data you want to show and which data you want to keep only for yourself. This is, again, um, as, as you can see, we at uh, the Amnet, the Ambrosus Network, the, the software can actually collect data from all parts of the supply chain, you know, from the, from the farmer to the end consumer. And these, and uh, it can uh, collect data about many things, including origin of materials, processing history, distribution and location, uh, and so on. So, uh, I guess many of you are familiar with the concept of smart contract. It's a very, very hype concept, but it's, it's not a new concept. It's basically um, creating a contract, self-executing contract, where the agreement is actually written into lines of code. So you can render transactions uh, traceable, transparent, and irreversible. But we think uh, our use, uh, we think the use of uh, smart contracts in trading between tr between trading partners is kind of the most basic and most useful use case for smart contracts 
where we make where we make our proposition even more powerful is that we actually uh, add this extra layer of security on top of our hardware and our software so you can actually trust the judgment of smart contracts. For example, you are a pharmaceutical company that wants to ship a box of, uh, of vaccines and then you enter into a smart contract with your logistics company. So in the contract you specify that this is a, a precious cargo and it has to be refrigerated, the temperature shouldn't go above 5 degrees. If the temperature goes above 5 degrees, then you, uh, then you get a 50% rebate. And thanks to our sensors, we can provide you with a smart box that constantly monitors uh, the temperature inside the box. And if the temperature rises above 5 degrees, then you automatically get a rebate. So it's, everything is automatic. And we actually had many pharmaceutical companies complain to us that they uh, basically bicker all the time with their supply chain uh, partners because they, again, they don't fulfill the contract. But uh, with a smart contract, everything is self-executed. Uh, and you can trust the judgment of our sensors because, we, again, we have given this extra layer of security and trust on top of it. Uh, one of our longer term uh, goals is to become the Android of supply chain apps. I already mentioned earlier that we provide an open source ecosystem so anyone around the world can come and create their own apps and then monetize them. Um, here I have uh, just shown a couple of very simple use cases uh, that you can, um, you can quickly build. So like uh, incentivize product feedback, like loyalty programs. You can use our sensors to actually monitor all the, uh, all the inventory that you have in your warehouse. So this is just the simple things that you can do right now and you can get uh, more, much more creative down the line. And we come to our um, our token. I think the previous speaker mentioned that yeah, uh, many startups kind of use um, tokens, even though in many cases it makes no no sense to use them. And we actually thought the same thing. So we thought if we're going to use a token, it has to really have some kind of utility. So we came up with the concept with the data bonded token, which means that. Um, you can actually bond tokens, you can lock tokens inside a physical product. And I'll give you an example. So uh, imagine you're a, you're a strawberry farmer um, somewhere in Germany. So you declare one, on our platform one ton of organic strawberries. And then you lock a certain amount of amber uh, with, with that batch. So as those strawberries travel down the supply chain, uh, they get cut into smaller and smaller pieces. But also the amber that are bonded with them, they're also cut into smaller pieces. So at the end of the supply chain, the end consumer buys a pot of yogurt. And this pot of yogurt has a bit of uh, strawberries and also a bit of our uh, token bonded with it. So the end consumer, the end consumer could, for example, get this, these tokens, uh, this bit of token, as a reward or for example you can incentivize the consumer to fill out a survey and then get those tokens and then uh, there are some you can get very creative with the different options for example you can um, have uh, have the end consumer decide whether to send those money back to the or the organic farmer or maybe to a selected charity so I think this is a very interesting concept for a token and again you can get uh, very creative with uh, its uses. And I guess it's the, it's the burning questions how we are different because um, uh, we obviously have uh, competitors in this space but we, we think there are four main reasons why it kind of distinguishes us from uh, the competition. First of all, as I mentioned, we're open source ecosystem. So we are not locked. You can actually go today at tech.ambrosis.com and start building apps and monetizing them. So we want to create a vibrant community that creates apps and then monetizes them. Uh, the second thing is we're very developer friendly. So anyone can go in and can well, with sufficient technical knowledge and, for example, connect different legacy systems, ERP systems to our platform. They can easily integrate their 
uh, barcode scanners or other physical devices to our platform. Uh, the third advantage is it's an end-to-end -end solution. So many of our competitors just provide a blockchain-based platform, that's it. Or maybe they provide one, one IoT device. We, within our team, we actually have decades of experience in sensor technology, in IoT devices. We have a whole laboratory. Uh, almost half of our team is devoted to hardware. So actually, we know, we know what we're doing, and we can provide you this end-to-end -end solution, not just the platform. Um, and, um, and again, it's uh, our, our expertise in the IoT space. It's kind of a thing that distinguishes us uh, from, from the competition. And if you come to us, we can, yeah, we can solve, we can start a project and then we can um, uh, not only take care of the hardware, but also the software and kind of uh, customize it to your own needs. I should also mention that uh, with the expertise in the IoT space, uh, in two months we're opening a showroom uh, which will be in Yverdon in Switzerland. So you can come and, uh, come and see for yourself how our technology interacts with our hardware and you're very much welcome. You can always uh, shoot us an email uh, at info at ambrosis, uh, com, or you can find us on LinkedIn and Telegram. Thank you very much for listening. Thank you, Reza